Okay, let's make another video. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Yep, it's time for another huge fly fisherman video. Let's do it. Thanks for being here. Today's video is about matching your leader size to your hook size. This is definitely one of those nerdy trout winny videos, but I will talk about saltwater as well, because I know that fly fishing is not just trout. I probably wouldn't have made this video, but a bunch of you asked for it, so here you go. And please feel free to give me ideas. I have plenty of my own, but I always like to hear more from you. This channel would be nothing without you. That's actually true. Two common questions in fly fishing are what size line or how big of a hook do I need to catch so-and-so fish? That's not really the best way to look at it. You can hook and land a fish with any setup. It's more important to think about how your rig will cast and fish, which will allow you to get that hook up in the first place. Does that make sense or no? Of course it makes sense. Everything I say makes sense. Sense. The ratio of your leader size to hook size affects how well your rig will cast and fish. When I say leader size, I'm really talking about tippet size. The tippet is just the end of your leader. Thicker, heavier tippet will be easier to cast and allow you to pull harder on the fish without breaking off. Thinner, lighter tippet will give you a better fly presentation. And you know I'm a presentation guy, not a pattern guy, right? For more info, check out my matching the hatch video. Tippet choice is about finding that balance. Fishing bigger tippets will allow you to yank on the fish and it will absorb some casting flaws. Thinner, lighter tippets will allow your little nymphs and dry flies to drift naturally in the current, which is what you want. It's that old drag-free drift. There's an old standard that says take your hook size, divide that by three, and that's the size tippet that you should be using. It's okay to use your phone calculator for that, I won't tell anyone. I don't know how to do math anymore either. So for example, say you're fishing a size 12 Texas caddis. You should tie it on to 4X tippet. 12 divided by three equals four. This is a good guideline, but you can tweak it if you want. What do I always say? There are no rules in fishing. Side note, if you're thinking about becoming a streamer junkie so you can fish flies like articulated sex dungeons, you're gonna have to go bigger than 4X. If you're trying to cast a big streamer with something like 4X, you're probably gonna lose that fly just by casting. You're not that good at casting, so you're gonna come forward too early, you're gonna feel that weird tug and hear that snap behind you, and then you're gonna be looking for that $12 game changer in the bushes. Big fly plus small tippet equals no good. Got that? The way I like to do it is just to fish as big of a tippet as I can get away with. If I can fit the tippet through the eye of the hook, I'm probably good, but that's just me. Let me throw some real world examples at you. For itty bitties, like 18 and smaller, you should be fishing six times tippet. Excuse me, six X. I don't fish six times ever. I haven't carried it with me in years, but you should use it. For hoppers or big stones, I'm fishing three X to zero X. Don't be afraid to go big or huge. For streamer fishing, I'm using 20 or 25 pound tippet. That might sound weird, but again, don't be afraid to go big. If a fish is gonna eat a fly this big, I don't think he cares what it's attached to. He just wants to kill it. Maybe you're wondering what I carry in my bag with me every day. For trout fishing, I carry five times through zero times tippet. For some reason, I skip one X, I don't really know why. And for streamer fishing, I carry 20 and 25 pounds. For saltwater, I'm normally fishing somewhere around 15 pound tippet, and maybe a shock, bite, or oyster tippet of something thicker. So that's the basics of it. You can start with that divide by three rule and adjust it to what you like, and then just go big for streamers. And for saltwater, just keep it reasonable. Don't be a Miami homeboy and fish a straight 60 pound leader. You're a grown up, act like one. Yes, I do have strong feelings about straight 60. It's just the way I am. So go fishing, play around with your leader and hook sizes, and find the balance that you like. Thank you as always for watching another huge fly fisherman video. I really do appreciate it. Please consider subscribing to the channel and throwing me a like. You could also check out my Patreon page. Check back next week for a another huge fly fisherman video check out hugeflyfisherman.com if you want to pick up some gear and stay huge oh dude yes oh my god hurry up oh is he snagged yeah yeah that's why he's so heavy well i, I can't even film it now oh yeah okay. i'm burping <laughs>